Amanda, please. I, I know the red skies are freaky, honey, but I'm sure it's just atmospheric. <clears throat> Dr. Ryan Choi? Disturbance. Babe, I gotta go. Wow, is that really you? Dr. Ray Palmer. Oh, and gosh. I'm Ryan Choi. It is so wonderful to meet you. Your second paper on subatomic density manipulation was the foundation for my work on miniaturization. Wow. Thank you. You know, I... Okay, Dr. Choi, we need you to come with us right now. Look, you've seen the red skies outside. The world is ending. Dr. Palmer, who are these people? We are superheroes, and Ryan, we need your help. <laughs> sure, Dr. Palmer. Good one. Hey, next, you're going to tell me I've been nominated for the Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics? Okay, we don't have time for this. Seeing is believing, right? Tissue? Your elongated man? Are, are you superheroes, too? I know this sounds cuckoo, pal, but you're what's called the Paragon which is a fancy word for saying, we need your help to save the universe. <laughs> Dr. Choi. If the world's ending, I, I need to go home. Please, Ryan, we really need your help. No, you don't. I'm no hero. I'm a husband. And if this is the end, I have to be with my wife and kid. Sorry. Another Earth is gone. Only seven left in the multiverse. It's ironic. I'm watching the biggest event in history, the destruction of every Earth, and no one will ever read the story. These Earths are not the only worlds destroyed. My world died. My family. What were they like? Hmm. So full of life. <laughs> they were everything to me. Only I cared as much for them as I did my work. Zanit. I now understand why you were such a good reporter, Miss Lane. Take a minute, looks like you could use a breather. Put this on this crest. I made a promise. I keep fighting, no matter what. Hey, why'd you add black to it? Because, Lois, even in the darkest times, hope cuts through. Hope is the light that lifts us out of darkness. Let's go back. I never quits no matter what Earth he's from, huh? Are you just talking to yourself? 